Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills. Guys, I have a lot of tea coming from Potomac. But before we get into this, guys, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Do it right now. It helps me a lot. Well, guys, this is a about Giselle and Pastor Jamal. There is a lot going on over there. I did a video about oh, like exposing Pastor Jamal that you do not want to miss. Go to my playlist about Real House of Potomac Tea. Watch it over there because it is insane the amount of things that this guy is doing. And now there are new information that is coming that we need to discuss right now, right? Well, you know that he is the pastor of this huge mega church called New Birth. Well, apparently the church, it is not happy with Jamal at all because basically he is destroying the church and the scandal that is surrounding him, it is getting too out of hand. The scandal basically being that he is dropping babies left and right and allegedly uh, impregnating a lot of women from the congregation and allegedly one of them is on, at the it was underage at the moment she got pregnant she was 17 now she is 18 or something i don't know so i mean you know it is what it is right so basically um jamal is using the money from the church right to try to hide all the bad things that he has been doing and to prevent women to come out, you know, basically like paying them out uh, or trying to silence them, right? So the scandal doesn't grow bigger and bigger and bigger. Right now, there are some women that have come forward, you know, with uh, like birth certificates of the child or the children, I'm sorry and you know saying that this is your kid because they are they were a little bit annoyed and i think everyone would right about seeing him on the reality show seeing how he continuously go and try to support and uh be involved uh with like giselle's kids you know which are also his kids and basically these other children they don't get anything from him okay he they, they don't even get to call him that so that he doesn't acknowledge them at all so these girls were it's like what the fuck like what is happening over here you know you need to like you are a dad so you need to do something about it there are already like this girl called latoya he she came forward with a birth certificate uh there are a bunch of kids what one is named topaz there is another one called john there is another son over there i mean there is a lot of kids this guy, honestly, like, I will say sometimes it will take two to tango, but this guy is a pastor. He is the son of a pastor too. These people are made to talk and to manipulate people with a weak set of mind. That's how pastor works. That's how this mega church get these people who I mean are very weak and they don't and they just get manipulated very easily so i'm guessing especially if you're also dealing with like underage people like why you know um so he is going everywhere but now you know like for a long time the church was trying to cover everything but now apparently the church is going down like people are starting to like distance themselves from the church there are not new people coming to the congregation and like now now the church itself that it is suffering and it is losing money now they're saying like mm, maybe we don't need you anymore you know after all the shady things that he did before um also jamal was the pastor for another mega church before that it was called empowerment temple and he brought down that church too. So he already has a record, right? And the thing with New Birth is that their old pastor was also on a huge scandal. And now this will be the second huge scandal surrounding the pastors. 
So a lot of people are now finally opening their eyes, you know, being a little bit woke and saying like, okay, maybe this is not the best situation. Maybe this is not the best church to be involved with, right? Um, new, new birth is coming out. They are saying that they are very embarrassed by Jamal's actions. And this is the first time that the church is actually speaking, saying like, okay, what Jamal is doing is not right, but they're not specifically on why, but there, I mean, there is a lot going on in there. Now, the thing is that, you know, that the rumors be that the relationship between Giselle and Jamal is fake, right? So apparently he created, he decided to come back to that relationship or like have that agreement with Giselle so he could be seen better on the eyes of the church. And Giselle wants to play this part of being like almost like the first lady you know so i mean it is it is up to giselle's um outline you know and the thing is that giselle is in the known of everything that is happening so it's not like he she is the poor little girl who is completely ignorant no she knows everything that is happening and she went into this agreement with jamal so they can keep covering all these scandals. At some point, this is going to explode completely. So if, I mean, Giselle needs to be a little bit more smarter because if she doesn't get out now, then there is, I, girl, you're not gonna have a reputation. Now. You, you barely have a reputation to protect now. Believe me, this is the thing, the kind of thing that you need to get uh, distance from, you know? Because you are over there bringing fake body wards to, uh, to defend yourself against Monique when you have this bullshit coming towards you. So you, you really need to like, you really need to be more smart yourself. That's the only thing that I'm going to say about that. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think on the comments below. I know this is not a surprise for many of you, but what do you think Giselle needs to do right now? And what is wrong with this Jamal guy, honestly? Well, let me know in the comments below, guys, and do not forget to like this video, share this video, and overall subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you around. See ya!